Hello students, this class let's see about the highest common factor or greatest common divisor by long division method. Find the HCF of 30 and 42. We are going to find the HCF of two numbers. From the two numbers, let's take the greater number as dividend, smaller number as divisor. So now in 42, how many times 30? In 42, how many times 30? One time. That one we are writing in question place. So 31 saw 30. We are writing the product down and we are subtracting. We get the remainder 12. Now the remainder is 12. Then this divisor 30 is becoming dividend here. This divisor 30 is becoming dividend here. So now we should check in 30 how many times 12. In 30 how many times 12. So in 30 2 times 12. 2 times 12 24. So 2 times we are writing in this question place. 2 twelves are 24. The product we are writing down of 30 and we get the remainder 6. So now this second divisor 12 is becoming dividend here. So now in 12, how many times 6? So in 12, 2 times 6. So 2 6 are 12. When we are subtracting, we get the remainder 0. So until we get the remainder 0, we have to proceed like this. This divisor is becoming dividend. Then we are getting, I mean we are getting remainder. Then again this second divisor is becoming dividend. Like this we will be proceeding the step until we get the remainder 0. Now we received the remainder 0. So the solution is the last divisor. See here 30, 12, 6. No, this last divisor is the HCF. HCF of 30 and 42 is 6. Like that, HCF of 108 and 288. Likewise, we are taking the greater number as dividend, smaller number, divisor. Then we are checking in 288, how many times? 108, 2 times. 2 into 108, 216. We are subtracting. We are getting the remainder, 72. Then this 108 is becoming dividend here. In 108, how many times 72? One time. 72 ones are 72. Then we are subtracting this. We get the remainder 36. Then this 72 is becoming dividend here. Then in 72, how many times 36? Two times. So 2 into 36, 72. Then when we subtract, we get the remainder 0. So now the HCF of 108 and 288 is 36, the last divisor. This last divisor is the solution. Likewise, we can find HCF of 3 numbers, 4 numbers also. Suppose if you are going to find the HCF of 3 numbers, first we have to find the HCF of, actually before going to find the HCF, we, the number must be arranged in ascending order. Here the question is given already in ascending order. So first let's take the first two numbers to find the HCF. That is HCF of 891 and 1215. See we are finding the HCF of 891 and 1215. And we are getting the last divisor is the HCF. So 81 is the HCF of 891 and 1215. Now, with this solution, now 81 is the answer. With that 81, we have to find, I mean, we have to find the HCF of 81 and 1377. So, first we will find the HCF of first two numbers. We will get a solution. With that solution, take the next number. Then, we have to find the HCF of those two numbers. Then here with, I mean, uh, with single step we are getting the remainder 0. So this divisor is the solution, 81. 
So, 81 is the HCF of 891, 1215 and 1377. So, likewise we can find HCF of 3, 4 and 5 numbers comes.